Welcome friends. Today we are going to make ginger beer. Um, and we're going to make a naturally carbonated or naturally fermented ginger beer using our homemade ginger bug. And this really is just a yeast starter culture, a wild yeast starter culture, using the wild yeast that naturally occur on the outside of ginger. Um, and if you take a look, you can see that video, which leads into this video. Now, I don't normally do it this way. I will make this down in the brewery, and then I'll ferment it, and I will end up force carbonating it rather than carbonating it in the bottle. Um, so a little bit different, but the steps are the same. Now, just because I like filming without a safety net, um, I'm going to try something different. I don't normally put this in the blender. I will usually use a food processor and grate the ginger. But I thought, you know what, let's put it in a blender and see if we can blend it fairly smooth and extract as much flavor as we possibly can. Well, that worked really well. Um, I think that worked really well. So we'll put this into a pot, uh, into this pot. Really gingery. Uh, I'll just use a little bit of the rest of the water to rinse out the jug. Yeah, you're right, I spilled. It's just water into the pot. Now, last little bit of water. And like with all of our recipes, everything is below the video in the show notes. You can catch everything down there. So next in is sugar. And this is an unrefined cane sugar. Um, I've done it with white sugar, I've done it with this sugar. I gotta tell you, there's really not a whole lot of difference. Maybe just a little bit of depth of flavor with this type of sugar, but it's not so much that um, it's gonna throw you. Next in is the spicing. Now I really like my ginger beer to have a little bit more of a complex flavor than just ginger, but if you want just ginger, you don't have to put these in. So first in are some allspice berries. Then some cloves, and if you hate cloves, don't use them. Peppercorns. Star anise. And cardamom pods. So we want to bring this pot up to sort of a low simmer. We want to stir everything together, get it warm, dissolve the sugar, and start bringing all of those flavors out of the ginger and the spice into the water. So a low simmer for about 10 minutes, and then we're gonna turn the pot off, we're gonna leave it and let it come down to room temperature on its own before we move on to the next step. So it's actually tomorrow. Um, by the time this cooled down to room temperature and I did a couple of other things, I couldn't get back to it. So I put a lid on it, left it overnight, and that will actually probably work to our benefit. Um, it'll give all of the flavors time to steep together. Now, got a, a fine mesh strainer and we're going to strain out all of the solids without spilling everywhere. Great. Now, um, straining it once is probably enough and you've got this pulp left over. Uh, let's give that a taste. Let's get, let's get a couple of tasting spoons. This pulp, um, you've got most of the flavor out of it. It should be in there, but There's still a lot of ginger flavor in there. I'm gonna turn that into a cake. Um, and that link will show up somewhere around us. Now for this liquid, you could strain it a second time through some cheesecloth if you wanted to. Uh, totally up to you. Um, I don't know, I think I might do it. Great. So, Time to taste it. Um, very important to taste it at this point. This is your last chance to make any changes with the flavor, and there's no sense going through the rest of the process if you don't like what it tastes like. So, let's see. It's got that, it's got that ginger heat. It's a little bit too sweet, but as soon as it's fermented, it's going to, uh, the sweetness is going to subside. And a lot of those other flavors are coming through, so you get a little bit of the peppercorn, you get a little bit of the star anise. Um, I think this is going to be really great. Next up is pitching the yeast. But before I pitch the yeast in this video, I'm going to direct you to another video where I'm going to test this 
and we're going to figure out how much alcohol is actually produced. So if you're interested in that video, click on it, and if you're not, let's put in the ginger bug. Okay, we'll just strain this out. Now, for this amount of liquid, um, if you brew beer, I know that you're all down with doing the calculations to figure out how much yeast is probably in this amount of liquid and how much yeast you need in here to get the whole thing going. And if you do those calculations because you're a brewer, do them. Um, this is, for me, this is a kitchen sink project. And I'm looking at this, I give it a smell. It's pretty strong. I think I've got a really good amount of, uh, of yeast going on in here. I don't think I need that much. Um, somewhere between half and three quarters of a cup is all I need to get this going. So I just strain out the ginger bits and these ones I discard. Now the ginger bug uh, needs a refresh and a top up and we'll deal with that in the ginger bug video. But essentially you just add a little bit more water, you put in some more ginger and you throw in some more sugar and everything's fine. So take the bug that I've strained out and we just pour that into the rest of our mixture and give it a good stir. Now I've put a baking tray down because I know I'm going to spill. Um, I've got a funnel and I've got beer bottles. So I've got flip top beer bottles um, that are self sealing and I've got stubbies uh, which take a crown cap and you seal them. Um, any way you bottle it is fine, but make sure you actually get bottles that can take the pressure. Um, if you get decorative bottles that have these flip tops, you could end up in a bit of trouble down the road, and that's not a good thing to have. So we fill up the bottles. And of course, everything has been cleaned and sanitized. I think that should be a given uh, whenever we do anything in the kitchen. It's been cleaned, it's sanitized, you're ready to go. You're not using dirty bottles. Um, I'm gonna give you more credit than probably most people will, you know that. So, we don't fill it all the way to the top. Uh, leave a bit of headroom so that the gas can expand and for these ones, you just seal it like that and you're done. The stubbies are essentially the same, just a smaller amount. I like to have a smaller size if I'm having one on my own. Um, I'm not sharing with somebody. It's nice just to open a small bottle rather than a larger one. Um, so I do two sizes, but of course it doesn't really matter. You could do this in any size bottle. You could do this in a two liter pop bottle if you wanted to. Um, you could do it in a much larger jug. It really is up to you. I just like these stubbies because it reminds me of the 1980s. Um, all beer in Canada up until, I don't know, the mid 1980s was sold in this style of bottle. Didn't matter what brand it was, they all came, at least in Ontario where I live, they all came in this stubby bottle. So these bottles take a crown cap closure and I've got them in a little bit of water with some sanitizer just to keep them clean. And I've got a couple different mechanisms to close the bottle, but this is probably the cheapest one. Um, and it's got a magnet, so you put the cap on the magnet, put the cap on top of the bottle, and squeeze and press. And sealed. On to the rest. Okay, all bottled up. I'll see you in about a week, right here, and we're going to do a tasting. All right. Okay. Do I need to start an order? Um, so. That's one day on the counter and then into the fridge, two days, three days, four days. Okay. So, uh, crack them open. I've got a, just in case. It, oh, it, yeah, go ahead. What, were you expecting uh, something different? I didn't expect as much carbonation in that one. So if you want to okay. pour that one, and I will start with number two. So are you, uh, just, I'm, what are you expecting for flavor differences? Um, I'm expecting differences in carbonation, mostly. Okay. And there will be a difference in the amount of alcohol. So two days on the counter, that's some good carbonation. So, oh, I didn't pour mine to it. But hey, that's a completely different color. Um, Interesting. Three days of carbonation. Yeah, because clearly mine's... That's good. Yeah. Not so as... in terms of carbonation, I think two days on the counter is going to get you where you need to be. And four what days... Might be too many? Four days might be too many. And it might be just right, depending upon what you yeah. like out of it. But yeah, you can see. Okay, so that's yeah. a, four days. Four days is too many. Complete disaster. Well, not a complete well, disaster. But you can see there's a very distinct color change, too. Between yes. The, 
here, between these two, but not so much the last three. So that's the yeast eating through everything. Whatever's in Chang there. Changing the color. Okay, so let's, um, flavor-wise, right. let's give it a go. Yeah. That's very gingery. Very gingery. Let's see. Now, is there going to be a different alcohol content? Is there alcohol at all in this? It's ginger beer. There will be a difference in alcohol content. And I've got a separate video, link will come out here mm -hmm. somewhere, um, where I'm testing the amount of alcohol. So that's the. Because they're not. That's actually, number one. That's, it's, uh, here, I'm going to have you taste it first. Completely different. Yeah, there's a complete change. Complete change. Like the, it's a lighter, much lighter. As much as this one's gingery, that one's gingery. This one is a lighter somehow. I the, don't... the heat is gone almost. Mm. The, the bite? So what are you saying? You like this one better? No, 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 no. I, I like the bite. Yes, I like the bite of that one better. Oh, wait a sec. The heat's coming on now. <laughs> He's supposed yeah. to too soon. Yeah, so the heat's coming on now. So I haven't tried that one yet. But that's there's okay. number three. Give that a try. Interesting. It, I can't put my... I can't think of how the flavor's changed, but I feel like it's changed again. It has changed. It has changed. Now here's the thing. If it, if you, so yeah, if you put this in after one day, you take out a bottle and you taste it and you go, that's not quite right. You can pull all of them back out of the fridge, leave them on the counter for another day at room temperature, and then put them back in because putting them in the fridge doesn't kill the yeast. It just puts it to sleep, slows it down. It's still fermenting in the fridge um, at fridge temperature. This one even has a different smell. Wow, that's even different again. Yeah. yeah. I'm amazed. I so was not expecting such a flavor change between the four. The, you know, carbonation, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Active yeast, wow. bubbles. That one is completely different. So These two are probably the most alike, but like this the difference gone, between this and this is completely different. So this has gone over some cliff. The yeah, yeast, the yeast. I think these are two. These are the two. I would go. So I would, me personally, I would stick with two or three days. In each case, the the yeast and whatever else is in there, because we don't know what's in the ginger bug unless you take it somewhere and have it tested. Oh, yeah. You don't know what's in the ginger bug, um, but definitely yeast is full on working in these, and this one has a yeastier smell to it. I think um, it is definitely more beer like. I was going to try that one again when you're done. Definitely more beer-like. But lower on the ginger flavor. Yeah, that's, I think that's, what, that's, the, that's the sudden... Yeah, lower on the ginger flavor, but yeah, I, I would agree with you. Two or three days on the counter for us is optimal. Our preference. But of um, course you might like something different. In a pinch, one day on the counter. I would drink that and really enjoy it. I think four days on the counter has too many. Too many. That's over the edge for me. There you go. So check out the other video where we make the ginger bug um, from scratch in order to carbonate these. And also check out the other video where we are testing the alcohol content because um, just based on this testing, I know that this is probably fairly high in alcohol content. So give this a try. It's a lot of fun. Um, and if you like ginger ale or ginger beer, uh, it's, it's super ginger. It's lovely. Yeah, it is really nice. Cool. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.